This is this is a size 14. It's a B110 for Kamasan. It's what they call a grubber hook. It's quite a strong hook. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually lead it. So I'm going to use a lead foil. And I've cut the lead foil basically quite fine, around about a mil, mil and a half at the most wide. And I'm just going to form the body with it, form like a taper. Start at the back, round about, say, body would start around about a mil from that area so that you've got to add to the taper so it's tapering towards the back and then go up, stop it about a turn from the eye now the caddis is a wee chunky fly so I'm going to add another layer onto the body again with the, the lead foil and work my way up and then just use the back of my nail to rub it and take away any lumps and bumps or grooves. That's fine. You can see the taper already in the actual the body, so that helps to build it up. And then you could use a UTC thread, or in this case I'm just going to use a, a uni thread in yellow. So start at the eye and start putting down a layer of thread and that's your thorax length at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the waist piece then I'm going to tie in some flexi or super stretch floss or it used to be called, you I'll probably say it, flexi floss because originally I knew it was flexi floss but this is the one you bu I buy now, it's called super stretch floss and the company who supplies the shops is Benyards so we need one of these lengths, just trim it away, or cut it away from the, the hank. I like to tie in flexi floss on the way down. It's much easier to do that. Let's just catch a tail in. At this point I'm just concentrating and taking the flexi floss to the point where I want it to start. Then bring the thread up. Just taking your time. Now you probably will miss an odd turn with the, the thread over the lead, you might see it, but don't worry too much. I'm going to stretch and cut away the waste piece of flexi floss, as I said I'd call it a stretch floss. Now when you catch in, this is a green, a fine or extra small wire. At the same time when you tie in bleached and dyed, this is peacock herald. So in bleached and dyed yellow so really nice stuff. Now I bought this on eBay. So if you look under an eBay you should be able to find it. Catch it on the side. Now that's the tip. I'm tying it in by the tip. And then winding both the wire and the herald down to meet the flexi floss. And bring the thread back up. Just tidying up as you go. Now you're looking for a thorax length, about a third the length of the full of the body. Now the first thing to come up is the flexi floss. I'm going to do a turn at the back. Now, if you've tied this in right, the hair on the wire should be above that first turn of the flexi floss. And then you want to basically wind or rub the thread with the flexi floss, leaving a small space for the hair all the way up to that piece at the beginning of the thorax is there. Cross your thread nice and tight. Now you could wind the head a lot first and then rub the body with the flexi floss. Entirely up to yourself. But I feel that just you end up with a nicer body if you do this. The head will sits better over the, the flexi floss. Now what I'm going to do then is bring the herald in between each turn of the flexi floss on the way up. You'll see it's sitting out. That's plenty. Cross your thread again. Secure it in. Just bend and break it or just break it off. 
and then bring the wire again in between each turn. Now, it's very important that you don't touch the body at this point until you bring or turn your, your wire up through, because if you touch that, it flattens the, the peacock kettle, and you don't want that. If it flattens, then what will happen is the wire will catch in too much of the fine hair, and you don't, it just doesn't look as good. And then, as again, tidy up, take a thread to the eye. Now as you can see, it's tapering towards the eye, and that's the shape you're looking for. And then I'm just going to rub this slightly with my finger and thumb. And you'll see how the fine hair sits round. I mean, it really looks very grub-like. And that's what you want. Just looks like the real thing. Now at this point, I'm going to make sure my thread is waxed. Bring it back up. Now, for to form the legs and the thorax, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some dyed yellow partridge. I've got a well marked partridge feather here, round partridge. So open it out, take away the rubbish at the bottom. And then I'm going to cut in between, cut the stem so that I've got fibres down either side and that's going to sit on the top. It's very easy to do. And I like these fibres to reach at least slightly by the back of the hook. Let's so come in. And one, two turns. Now at this point you'll see it probably goes all the wrong way. Now you move that around, get it to sit. Just get it to sit the way you want and get the length. And once you're happy, then you come in with another two or three turns. And what that does it basically secures it. I guess to sit there, and that's that's fine. Now what I like to do is slightly crease, bring my finger in, and then my finger onto the fibres, take them up, creases down in here, and that brings these fibres into the side. And then you can take this down a wee bit, fold it back, because this is going to be a thorax cover. Again, some wax. And then tighten up. Now we're going to form the thorax. Now, the material I'm going to use, I'm going to use basically a two, two, two types of dubbing. Now I'm going to use a light bright. In this case it's a hot yellow light bright by Spirit River. And uh, basically all I do is take just a few fibres and cut them away from the packet. Don't don't rip them. It's much better to cut them away because it's much, to dub, say a, a, a material like this, maybe about an inch to a quarter inch or so, and length into another dubbing, it's much easier to blend. Now I've got fox squirrel here, and I'm going to, there's the, the light bright, so I'm going to put some dubbing into it. And all I do is just mix them, just bring them through my finger and thumb, my fingers, just to lightly mix these together. And onto the, the thread. And slide it up. Now, just go with the taper of the the body you formed or the thorax. Just winding down. Just slightly building it up to get to the eye. And then just draw anything that's going forward the eye. Draw it back. Bring a couple of turns in front to lock them out the, just out the way. Always make sure we bit of wax at that point. Now the waste piece of our partridge, which we're going to use to form the thorax, all we do is bring this over. Now as you can see, makes a great thorax, uh, the cover, and then a couple of turns is all we need. Strength. What I do is I fold it back. Now you've got the grip there because of the wax. Again, we drop more wax, and then keeping the thread always tight. And catch some fluff there. Just come in and wet finish. There we go. Trim away the thread, and come in and trim away the waste, of your partridge. And as you can see, I mean, I'm just gonna let you so you can see the body of this. 
There's the body. I mean, it's it's excellent. Like you, I don't think you can get really much closer than that to the natural. Now I'm just gonna this this here's gonna tidy it really up. Now you could add a wee bit of uh, varnish. Or what I'm going to do here, I'm just making sure there's no hair sitting on the top. I'll use some bug bond. I'm just going to put it on the top. All the way along. And then come in with the torch. And set. And you can see the colour you get. I mean, you can look at the body, if you look at the, because it's fluorescent, you can actually see the segmented body you get and the wire, the green wire shows through and you can see the wire sitting on the the, the herald, which is protecting it, at the same time giving it a, like a quill effect. But that fine herald coming through, it's just giving the, just looks like the fine hairs on the abdomen. There we are, just make sure this is set. And there we go. And that's your small caddis pupa. Now I'm going to show you the small caddis fly. Basically what it's like once it's in it's basically it's a bit wet and it's got all form a nice shape. Now if you've you've got the, the tape on everything, you've got the legs in. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it into some water and I'll show you what it's like. So I'll give you an idea. I mean, I'm going to soak it so that you'll get the caddis now there, it's, it's it, trapped and lying back, same way that you would find the fly in the water. Now I'm going to just put it onto my vise. Now there it's, as you can see, you've got that, basically it looks like a midge pupa as well, <laughs> the shape. But then you've got that shape that's ready for bursting open as it close to the surface. Mm -hmm.